Hello, beautiful world. This is Faris Al Hajri, PhD, AM. The human thought. This is very important as part of our initiative, our endeavor to present about the, the as a certified nutrition, uh, integrative nutrition health coach and discover of hot water therapy, how to revitalize, which we emphasize about the physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual health. So this part is about the emotional health and particularly the, the title with the human thought falls under the umbrella of what we, we emphasize here, the power of you. The power of you amplify your subconscious vitality. So let me reveal two of my quotes that I wrote in my book. The value of, uh, value of well being and its secret for a better living and we're preparing a new book, The Power of You Amplify Subconscious Vitality. Every human's brain consists of mental tools that perform functions where it will be impossible to believe in a form of wonder. Every human has been created in twins, the body and soul, both never separate except death. Let me look here, bring just a small Research. I mean, it's a research. It's not a small research. I mean, it's a research that was conducted in Harvard by Harvard University by a scientist, she's an assistant professor in Harvard University, the Department of Psychology, Elena Amit. She discovered that visual thinking is deeply ingrained, uh, ingrained in the human brain while speech. It's a very interesting, very, very interesting. This, this, uh, her, her, her research has been published in uh, Harvard Magazine in May 11, 2017. And this is very interesting for the reasons that everything that we visualize, we can turn into actual. So whatever we perceive as a picture can turn into reality, into, turn into words. So if we, for example, if we, we doubt somebody is trying to be against us, so we start to build up into a larger picture and we create that into action, so and so on. So if we think we will be losing money, or for the meantime, at this, at this moment about the pandemic, the COVID-19, we start to think that this pandemic and we follow the media and become so worried and fear and phobia and all these things, we start to build a kind of a fear to our, within ourselves. So we create that picture into reality. So what happened to us? We end up into failure because we create a picture of a negative thought, thinking that uh, we will be part of this, uh, uh, you know, uh, this uh, uh, coronavirus uh, uh, diagnosed. We may have the problem. We may die because there's no vaccine, there's no cure, and so on. So those, these kind of pictures we create day by day then we create in a larger, uh, a larger, we create into like a reality. So let's not let the pessimism, the negative thoughts and all these things create the bad pictures that we don't want to, to, to have in our life that to be dominating whatever we achieve. For this reason, uh, we wanted to highlight also another research that was uh, uh, published in uh, uh, it was done in a uh, publishing, uh, I mean, his research was conducted by the University of uh, Stranton from, from uh, Pennsylvania, United States. And it was published in Inc. magazine. It's an uh, American magazine in cooperation. Uh, Inc. magazine, July 26, 2016. The researchers from Scranton uh, University, they found that 92% of people don't achieve their goals. That is shocking. 92%? So only 8% of people, they achieve their goals? Why? For the reason because every day we go through life, challenge of life. And I call challenge of life as a vitamin of life. You know why? Because we need to start to build the positivity. 
We need to build the hope and understand that the, the vitamin of life is just the more we, we use our brain to build a positive vibe, the more we can achieve what we, every human being has a dream, has an ambition, ambition to become successful. So for this reason, the majority of the people, of the 92%, the every day they fear losses and somewhere, somehow a phobia that they may have lost or the fear they may lose or because a friend or somebody has lost, uh, has gone through losses. So they start to build that into picture, into reality. And they become part of the people who fall under the 92% of the loser. But the other two, eight person, they don't think, they don't believe on the losses. They know it's just a temporary temporary action event that has happened to make them better. So they always look at the picture of the achievement they've made. So when you do back in time and you practice, and of course there are more and more techniques that we, show, we emphasize here. We just come to quick to a glimpse of that. So if you start to build the picture of achievement, whatever achievement you may have, may have accomplished, and then you create that bigger, bigger picture, then it become reality, it become, it turn into, a, into a, a real action because you start to think of so solving things and start to think about the making much better of achievement that you have already reached that we believe you are climbing the endless mountains of life and you're going to the next mountain and higher mountain, higher mountain, and there's no end to the achievement. So you will be attending more and more. 92% uh, uh, they, they, they think of failure and that they're the failure people, they cannot be achieving but 8% 8 per, 8 they think about success. So they know that failure is just a temporary, just a, a temporary a, you know, a event that will bring them to, to achieve success. So it's just a temporary uh, path. So they don't believe in failure. They say, I never fail, irrespective of what's, whatever the incident. They just believe that they always visualize and actualize that picture into a larger picture of success. 92% of people, they always think about adversity, have lost somebody, loved one, or so and so on. They think they're already old, or they think that they couldn't do this, or they did not do this, or somebody was against them, themselves, or is it one of the reasons why they had that failure. So they, call, they put into themselves that adversity. And adversity, if we live into adversity every day, then we destroy ourselves unintentionally. So it's your choice. but. Instead of adversity, go and be part of the eight-person people, eight-person who think about contentment. So accept, be content. Just say, okay, it's a part of life. We are living in a wheel of life. The wheel of life is that I'm, a, I'm an adult. I, I was a child before. And before that, my father was a child. And before, before that, my grandfather was a child, and then he grew. So, I mean, that's how civilization moved. That's how progress of life, the wheel of life. So we were children, we are now adults, and we'll become old tomorrow. So we need to have that contentment. Live the way you are, and accept who you are, irrespective of whatever. So build that picture, and you can, you can, you, your brain, you, that picture will turn into true action. Delusion, 92% of people, they're into that delusion. They, you know, they, they, they destroy themselves unintentionally. But 8% of people, they think of reality. This is a fact, this is real, it's happening, and I'm accepting it, and I'm happy with it, and I embrace it, and I love it. I, you know, I don't, I don't let that delusion to destroy me. People, they into sorrow, sorrow, whatever may happen, of a law, you know, of, um, of a lost one or whatever it is. No, other people, they say, no, I accept. My sadness could be, one, sorrow could be one day, two days, but after that, I have to go back to my happiness. I have to leave. I have to create that picture of happiness and so on. So, every day we learn something, you know? Every day we learn something. So we learn. Life is a school that has an endless process of learning. But I want to, as a curiosity, when I came to, to understand that, that we are like a machine, like a vehicle that needs a fuel. You run that vehicle. But we as a human being, we also deserve to fuel our brain because everything is performed. Everything, whatever is on the left and is on the right, is based, 
differentiate between the failure of the 92% and the 8% of people who are successful is that the 8% they try, I mean, you, there is a more that we can diminish the 92% much lower, means more people can become successful. By means, we understand that we are more the secret. They have quitted. We are depleted from the fuels that our brain rely on. We will connect with science. So, quit your brain. This is very important. I quit your brain with hot water. It's so simple. Do not underestimate this. Because without this, your life will never exist. You'll never be in this world. In the womb of your mother, including myself and everybody, we will form the womb of our mother through the hot water. Simply because, look carefully what science tells us. And nobody can deny this. Break the hot water into the components. Number one, look at your brain, how much water is composed. 78% water. Look at your brain. How much oxygen does it receive every day? 20% that is highest than any organ in the body. Look at your brain. How much energy? How much, I mean, the hydrogen the, the plays a role in your brain. Albert Zajorji, who got the Nobel Prize, the biochemist, in his Nobel Prize, he's been talking about hydrogen. And he discovered that the human body stores hydrogen in his in his. Part of, uh, I mean, every, all the organs, the largest in the liver. So your brain, and he discovered that no electron move in the living system without being accompanied by hydrogen. So your brain as a machine, like an engine that runs. So these, these electrons, because our brains, from, you know, made up of cells and cells made up of, uh, you know, electrons, protons, and so on. So these electrons, they cannot move without being accompanied by hydrogen. So where do you get this hydrogen? We discover the hydrogen in a human body, hot water, aqua is the source of hydrogen in addition to other elements that we speak here. So, because that's your life started. But when we were born, we disconnected. So I highlight here to continue and, uh, abiding the therapeutic methods of aqua gulping as recommended, with the temperature, with the volume, with the distribution, and so on for adults and for children. Let's go with the last one, the fourth element of the fuel, which will condemn the fields, the four essential elements of life, energy. Our brain consumes 20% energy, which is the highest than any part of the body. Just remember, our brain represents 2% of our bodies by weight, 2%. But that tiny part, which is the brain, you can imagine all these elements, they play a role as the fuel of the brain. So in this case, as we fuel and refuel our brain, our nervous system, we revitalize our brain to achieve what we deserve to achieve. You deserve to be a hero or a heroine. You deserve to be a leader. You deserve to be who you are, better you. But just remember, keep hackwating your brain because your brain needs more than just only the information that you store, you learn, and so on every day. But again, we forget. We are like a computer, just you store. But again, you have, uh, you know, uh, so between brackets, you can say viruses that affect your brain. It's like a computer that has viruses and it, it deletes the files. And so on. So your brain needs the fuels. And these fuels are purely natural fuel. These are from the Hakwa Revitalize. So revitalize your brain. And this is just a letter we wanted to share with you. Beautiful world. Please subscribe to our channel if you did not subscribe. And put like and share to your loved one. This is the only way we can do much better, we can provide more. Because every day, life is a school, and every day I'm learning something. And I'm learning, I wanted to share whatever I learned. I'm already 13 years abiding with the therapeutic methods of aqua gulping every single day of my life. It changed my life, make my life so that I'm satisfied, but it's your turn to achieve your success and achieve your dream and ambition come true. It's no longer just a dream you turn into reality. Thank you so much, beautiful world.
and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.